Before I start this class, I want to introduce you a really great website for learning anything. For example, if you see my profile, you can see my premium tutorials about motion graphics, After Effects, Cinema 4D, visual effects and many software I teach here that you can learn it. If you use the link in the description, after you sign up, then you will 2 free months for premium. Yes, you hear right. 2 free months for premium. And you will access to more than 22,000 classes. Yes, 22,000 classes. Don't miss the time and register now. In this course, I want to show you how you can create something like this. It's very cool. You can create that with volume measure and volume builder. Okay. For creating, first, I'm going to create a new project. And now, add a sphere and... Decrease size. Example here is good. And now go to my graph uh, menu and then add a cloner and drag and child this clone. And now click on uh, on the clone. And then here change mode to grid. That's good. Three 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 is good. Okay. And um, now, um, in the more graph effector, add a um, random, and then here in random, go to effector, and here random mode, change it to noise, because when we play that, as you can see, it's automatic noise them and here check uh, turn on this checkbox index and now you can see each ball is noise like this okay and then after that here in a parameter um, change and increase x y and z for example 100 is good because i need more noise for that and now when we play that, it's like this. Very good. Now create um, another um, object that's cube. And then in volume, add a volume builder and volume measure. And drag this cube under volume builder and drag this volume uh, builder under volume measure that's really good now select on uh, volume builder and um, change the size to 8 and then um, create again another volume builder and volume measure and now drag this clone this cloner about this ball drag and change it under volume builder and again drag it under volume measure that's really good and now hold control and i want um, copy from this and copy and paste this um, cloner press control and drag this cloner under this volume builder with a cube that's good. And now just um, in volume builder, here change this mode to subtract. Okay, now you can see it's create this holes. That's very nice. And now uh, we can create a smooth layer here and change this voxel distance, change it to one. It's really good. And uh, for that ball mm, I'm gonna to change this voxel size to 8 and add a smooth here and decrease 
is to one and now we can increase a um, little more um, size of this sphere okay that's good now when we play that we can see it's really cool okay now I'm gonna to create um, two material first for this ball double click on it and here mm, add a luminance and change color this and disable this color and um, go to luminance and then in texture add a friend cell and um, click on it change the color of that to this purple Just okay think a little whiter is better and then you can add a environment and here you can load a picture for example I have this picture for environment you can choose um, your picture okay it's done and I'm going to create another material this is for our cube and here in material editor um, like that ball um, select luminance here um, from here to red okay that's good now when we render that it's like this and here is uh, this texture is so much for white um, here drag this to here some darker is better okay and if you want more smoother your um, uh, sphere you can in volume builder decrease this number for example from 8 um, change it to um, I think 6 is good mm, yes now when we play that as you can see it's really cool okay and for um, rendering and if you want see the best result for example here in the render options um, here add ambient occlusion and global illumination very good and now when we render this scene we can see what's happening here and if you want render all frames you should just here select 
um, your folder that you want save your animation and then um, in output set 0 to for example here 90 and then you should click on this rendered picture view to render all frames after that for example I create this you will see something like this very good I hope you like this tutorial thank you and goodbye